Dreallday.com. What's going on, everybody? Dre Ball and Dreallday.com. Sweet's motivation is called What You Say to You. And this is a principle I actually got from listening to this audio tape by this guy named Zig Ziglar. And I'm sure many of you have heard of Zig Ziglar. He's an older guy, he's a motivational speaker. He's actually has passed away as of now. But his tapes, his principles, a lot of the stuff he wrote about, talked about, still exists to this day. And a lot of people still listen to his stuff. I just recently had discovered Zig, so I started listening to him. And one of the first things he said in one of the speeches he was given is, what you say to you is dramatically more important than what I say to you. And a lot of players, a lot of young people, basketball players especially, because I hear from a lot of basketball players on this channel, they come to me and say, hey, Dre, I was doing such and such and such and such person said, and then they tell me what that person said, and then they say, well, what can I do to change whatever that person was talking about? And I try to tell people over and over again, one of the reasons I made this weekly motivation about this topic is that it doesn't have anything to do with what anybody else said to you. The question is, what do you say to you? Like if somebody comes up to you and say you went to the store and you bought some brand new shoes and you wear them out to school or to work the next day and, and somebody comes up to you and the first thing they say is those shoes are horrible, they're ugly, they're terrible. You bought the worst pair of shoes in the store. Does that mean you need to take the shoes back and go buy a different pair of shoes or throw those shoes in the trash that you just bought? No. Does it necessarily mean they're great shoes? No. Only thing that gives that those shoes meaning to you is what you say about them. How do you feel about them? It's not about what anybody else says about you because let me let you in on a secret that you probably already know. If you base your life and your actions on what other people say about you, you're going to be an average person. Why do I say an average person? Because average is the middle. Average is what most people do by definition. The only reason, only way we have the average is by having that big group in the middle. Then you got a few who are above and you got a few who are below. Most people are gonna be right here in the middle. So if you base your life on what people are saying to you, you're eventually, sometimes people may say something to bring you up a little bit. Sometimes they'll say something to bring you down. Sometimes they'll say something to keep you right here in the middle, average with everybody else. You're gonna end up grouped in this big group here in the middle. Now, if you wanna be average, if you wanna be part of the group, you wanna follow everybody else, cool. You can live your life based on what other people say to you. If you want to reach a higher level, which I think most of you do, is the reason why you're watching this video, you have to tell yourself things. And when you tell yourself something enough times over and over again with the proper amount of conviction and you get your emotion involved in it, again, this is what you say to yourself, not what you say to anybody else or anybody says to you. Once you've done that enough times, whether it be mentally or verbally, even the stuff that you read, the stuff that you watch, the things that you take in, all of that stuff factors into how you feel about yourself. And it all factors into that internal dialogue going on in your brain at every single moment. You got an internal dialogue going on at this exact moment that you're watching this video. If you say something to yourself enough, you become convinced and nobody else can say anything to you. If you look at Bill Gates, can somebody walk up to Bill Gates and say, Bill, you're a terrible businessman? He would forget about it. That would go in one ear and out the other. Why? Because he's probably, I haven't met Bill Gates, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty damn convinced that he's pretty good at business. Can somebody walk up to Kobe Bryant and say, Kobe, you're terrible at basketball? No. It's Kobe, I think Kobe has pretty much convinced himself by saying it to himself that he's pretty good at what he does. So how can that apply to you the exact same way? Once you convince yourself, that's by the way that you think, the words that you speak, the actions you take, and the things that you take in. If you're taking in things that make you feel worse about yourself, then that's not helping you. If you're reading books and you're listening to things and you're watching things that help you develop personally into the person that you want to become, that make you better, that uplift your spirit and your thoughts and your actions, those things are going to help convince you. They're going to reinforce those thoughts. Whatever thoughts you keep reinforcing are the thoughts you're going to eventually, you're going to start believing them. You're going to start believing them about yourself. So if somebody tells you you're a loser, there are people out there right now who really believe they're losers. You know why? Because they heard it from somebody else. They believed it. They kept telling it to themselves. And now they're living it out. And the exact opposite is also true. There are people out there who are great. They might not even have that much skill or talent, but they're great. They're great achievers. You know why? Maybe somebody told them they were great. Maybe not. But they tell themselves over and over and over again to the point that you can't tell them anything different. 
that they're great, that they're superstars, that they're high achievers, that they can do anything they want. You can do it for yourself. It's not about anybody else doing it for you. It doesn't matter if you got all these negative influences around you. Nobody talks to you for 24 hours in a day, but you with that internal dialogue, you talk to yourself 24 hours a day and there's no vacation. It never goes away. What you say to you will determine how you feel about yourself. Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you check back next week, the same day, catch more tutorial content. Check out all my favorite content up here, all my social networks, you can follow me over here. Make sure you are subscribed to catch all my new content coming out here on this channel every single day. Work on your games.